As I stand here and look around, it reminds me of what actually became a gathering of the tribes. It was a convention of jazz. It hadn't started out that way, but every major figure in jazz that was alive in the 50s and in the early 60s came here to Freebody Park. And whether it was the great singers like Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan or Dinah Washington, the great tennis saxophonists, Coleman Hawkins and Lester Young and Bud Freeman, Benny Goodman with his band, Woody Herman with his band. I mean, they were here. Max Roach, Miles Davis, Art Blakey, uh, any name you can think of. We're only sad that two great names in jazz that had been alive when we started never appeared. Art Tatum and Charlie Parker. They died just a shade too soon. But we could go on and on and on talking about the great figures that appeared here at the Newport Jazz Festival. And musicians that were there, who are still alive, and fortunately there are a few still alive, although most of them have passed away, they still talk about the excitement of what it meant to come to Newport in the 50s. And thank heavens, they're still excited when they come here today. But the whole structure of what happened had an influence throughout the world. When we started in 54, we were the only jazz festival in the entire world. Now there are thousands of festivals everywhere you turn. I'm very proud of that and I hope it continues because it's a great source of income for musicians and it's a great source of public relations for jazz and it's very important to the development of the music.